Hello Alice Cooper people and welcome to the very very last album review that we're going to do of Alice Cooper and we're doing Along Came a Spider. Now let me just open this one firstly by saying that um, some artists year after year after year produce the same old crap time after time after time and people will love it and buy it like uh, ACDC for example and some artists like Alice Cooper will do something very different quite often. Credit to them. Great credit to them. Kudos. But when you do something very different each time, you risk the occasional dud, as we saw with things like Special Forces and possibly Trash, for example. And um, that doesn't mean any disrespect, but for me, this album, Along Came a Spider, does, just doesn't quite hit the mark. Well, when I first heard Along Came a Spider, well, actually, when I first heard Vengeance of the Mind, we heard that on yep. MySpace as soon as it came page. up on MySpace. Yep. And um, so I heard that, and we thought, uh, oh, well, if this is an indication of what's to come, it's going to be great. Mm. There wasn't much to the lyrics, but... You but know, it had a good beat. Maybe. Yeah, it had a good beat, mm -hmm. and that and it was, you know, there was a lot of hope there. Mm -hmm. So then we got Along Came a Spider. And we listened to it. And I'm going to have to say the first time I heard it, I didn't like it at all. The disappointment was palpable. I thought it was <laughs> awful. <laughs> now, it has grown on me in the few months that it's been out. Mm -hmm. um, I don't mind uh, quite a few of the songs, like... Uh, you know, there's just a funky sound to some of them at the beginning. Yeah. I forget which ones, maybe Wake the Dead. Is that the one that starts off? With it, that with that fuzz box type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I really mm -hmm. don't like that mm -hmm. sound, but it's not on every song, and it didn't last the whole way through that song, so that's not bad. But the songs will all probably be better live. It might be a good live show if that's what Alice has in mind to do this as a live show so that there is a, an actual visual story as well as a, an auditory story but like I said for, for me this this album is is not the last temptation no. as far as concepts go no I wouldn't mind seeing it live but um... but if he did it live if he came out here tomorrow He'd probably do one or two songs off this and, and yeah. the rest of the bloody schools out again. Yeah, because like when he does an album, he doesn't do all the songs anyway. But um, Not since trash. But some of them have, you know, like I said, have grown on me. Mm. And um, I like quite a few of them now. Um, I get the whole Stephen thing and yeah, we, the whole we get, concept. We get the album. We, we get it. It's not that we don't understand the album. I mean, we get it. We're not idiots. It's just that it, it doesn't quite... It's just not all there. It's, you know? Um, it's just... It's just not spectacular. It's not spectacular. <laughs> it's um, very hard to say because it's not a bad album by no, any means. No, it's not a bad album. Uh, a very good friend of mine, who's been, been my, my very dear friend since I was 16 or 17, and he was an Alice fan at the, before me. And his opinion of this album is that Alice is trying too hard to be the big bad, the Marilyn Manson on the one hand, and the Bible thumper on the other. And on this album, it's just not not happening like it did on the previous three. Yeah. That's his opinion. Um, well, I, I would have to gr agree. Because the lyrics... Now, like I said, I think Alice Cooper is one of the greatest songwriters ever. Oh, definitely, ever. definitely. I mean, his lyrics are just fantastic. Yes. And over the years, he has had songs that the lyrics were just amazing. Spine chilling. This didn't do it for me. No. I mean, Vengeance is Mine was the first song we heard, and it was like, that was great. But it's really, for Alice Cooper, there's not much to the lyrics. Not a great deal to it, is there? Really? No. no. And, um... So we're trying not to be too negative, 
here. No, because it is growing on us. <laughs> it's growing on us, and it's not a bad album, as in trash. But see, when Alice takes something out, yeah. we expect it to be great when we first hear it. Yeah, perhaps there's a modicum of disappointment there. Yeah, so, mm. you know, when he does have one that's not what we consider as good, it, it's quite disappointing because you expect everyone out is going to be great. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And especially when he's just had five really great albums. Well, when we heard that this was a concept album and it was the, 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 the topic of the concept album was a serial killer, straight away we were both thinking, The Last Temptation, it's going to be like The Last Temptation, but it isn't. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and please don't run out and buy this thinking this is going to be uh, the, the equal to The Last Temptation because no. it isn't. And this is different. The sound is different different yes <laughs> um but you know don't avoid it because of this because like i said it is growing on me the songs have grown and when i first heard them it was like ooh, you know we, when we first both heard it it was but. like jesus christ what the hell is that <laughs> <laughs> but, but it has grown on us yeah yeah it has yes. grown uh a, a lot of the songs are fine it's just not what was we was expecting. Not quite what we were expecting. Right? And, um, well, I think he should have made Spider something else. Mm. I, I wouldn't and dare to try to Steven. To, uh, I dare. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't presume to try and tell Alice what to do, but... In my opinion, this didn't work. And I've searched the internet for reviews, and I have been unable to find a dud review anywhere. So now, it could be just me. Having said that, when the album <laughs> first came out, we couldn't find anybody to say nothing good about it. So it has. So it's it's probably just like us. It's growing on us. Yes, possibly. It's growing on us. Anyway. Uh, that's it, and we're going to do one more Alice review, and that's going to be an overview of his career and, and basically a gushing session about how much we love the man. Mm -hmm. But um, other than that, it's farewell from us until, um, well, we do Marilyn Manson's Hollywood, Hollywood, because Holy that's way. what was asked of us to do, and please ask us to do something else. <laughs> <laughs> please, at some point. Ask us to do something else so we can uh, sit here and review something else. Yeah, because if not, we're going to be listening to, or watching some really bad B movies and yes. stuff like that so we can just bag them. <laughs> and can I just say before we go, Katie and my current fad is Southern Rock. So if you have any really good Southern Rock albums that you think we should hear that don't include the song Freebird, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> let us know so that we can review them because we, we'd really, really love to do that. But if you want music, we listen to everything. I'm talking from classical to some really wild stuff. So. We, we do listen to some bizarre stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'd like to do reviews of Sabotage now. Now, without taking anything away from Alice, Sabotage and That's How You Do a Rock Opera, dude. You know, that's how it should be done. Yes, dear. <laughs> Okay, until uh, next week when we review Alice the Man. Adios. Bye. Bye. <laughs>